Welcome back everybody to another WV Guns and Goats video and tonight we are out here on the range with two of Matador Arms uppers, the discontinued Montgo 9 and the current production Mat 9. We are going to try these on multiple different dedicated PCC lowers with different magazines and see how they function. But before we get started I'd like to ask you as always like, comment, and headbutt that subscribe button to join the herd here at WV Guns and Goats. The first two lowers we're using tonight, we have a standard AR-15 lower here with the Mag-X Glock Magwell adapter in it and the A3 tactical folding polymer stock. Then we have a Palmetto State Armory dedicated Colt SMG lower here. On the back here, we have the Strike Industries Picatinny rail adapter, but I don't have a folding brace or anything for this lower. The next two lowers we have is a Palmetto State Armory PA X9 dedicated Glock mag lower. And we have an Anderson Manufacturing standard 5.56 lower with a drop-in coat SMG mag well. If you didn't see my older video on these uppers, go ahead and watch it. I'm gonna link it in the description below. It covers all the specifics of these uppers and their differences, but it really boils down to this was Matador Arms first product. They are still floating around out there on the internet for purchase, or you might come across one used. They have been replaced by the Mat 9. The Montgo 9 will only feed from Glock magazines, and the Mat 9 offers multiple magazine compatibility with any double stack pistol magazine or any pistol caliber magazine that you can fit into an AR lower. Now that Mag X adapter changes the magazine release from here to right here on the front as a paddle. These uppers, both of them feature a non-reciprocating charging handle. Let's see how it runs with the adapter Montgo 9. Yep, we had one jam there. Now let's try out that Mat 9 upper. No problem with the Mat 9. Just for YouTube out there, this is a five round magazine. It just looks really long. See, only five rounds. Well, I was gonna try this Amend 2 magazine here, but uh, it doesn't wanna latch into the adapter. So I can't try it out on this lower setup. This is that dedicated Colt SMG mag lower from PSA. I'm gonna see how this goes without having anything attached to the back of it. Seem to work fine there. We've got our Anderson lower here with the Colt SMG drop in magwell. Let's see if this one works. Here we have the PSA PAX9 dedicated Glock mag lower and we have the Montgo 9 upper on here. As I said earlier, this is only compatible with Glock mags, so it wouldn't work with those other two lowers that have the Code SMG magazines. But let's see if it works on the PSA lower. These Amend 2 magazines do latch into the PSA lower, but let's see if they function. Let's see how fast I can pull the trigger on this one. Oh, pretty fast. And now the PSA Glock Mag lower with the Mat 9 upper. All right, just got four rounds loaded in this magazine. Okay, so it doesn't look like it jammed there. It did load the round, but it didn't reset this trigger. And this is an aftermarket trigger in this lower. Wait a minute! 
hey, let me just stop the video right there. I found out what the problem was with this upper and lower combination, and it's something that you might wanna watch out for if you plan on using one of the Matador Arms uppers on your lower. I'll show you that later in this video. All right, we only have five rounds here. Let's pull that trigger real fast again. I wanted to see if it would also feed hollow points. So I've got some Federals here. And it did not feed the hollow point. It fed that one. We have another jam with hollow points there. So what caused the jam that we had earlier? Well, I think I figured it out and it's not a problem with the upper or the lower. It's something you have to be aware of when you use a Mat 9 upper. This is designed to be a bufferless upper where you have a folding stock, you don't have a buffer assembly. And they really mean that because you need to remove the buffer assembly, including the buffer retainer pin that pin actually sheared off. And the only thing I can think of what happened was when that sheared off, it got underneath the rear of the trigger and pushed up on it, which caused the hammer to catch on the disconnector and didn't allow the trigger to reset. All right, so that wraps up our video about the Matador Arms uppers. We tested out the Montgo 9, their original upper that has been discontinued, and the current production, Mat 9. We tried them on various 9mm PCC lowers. The Montgo 9 gave us a few jams when we used it on a standard 5.56 lower with their Mag X Glock Mag adapter. However, when we put the Montgo 9 on a dedicated Glock Magwell lower, we didn't have any problems there. The Mat 9 ran great, except when it came to a little bit of a problem that was caused by me failing to remove the buffer system from that lower. But if you remember to do that, you won't have a problem. Also, it really didn't like hollow point loads. However, if you wanna to try to shoot hollow points out of this upper, well, you're gonna to have to try out the ones that you plan on shooting with your lower to see if they're compatible. Otherwise, I think these are a great way to do a nine millimeter AR based PCC, and it also gives you that folding stock ability. If you wanna check out everything that Matador Arms makes, you can find them at www.matadorarms.com. As always, thanks for watching, and remember, if you're not out there having fun shooting, what are you doing?